My name is Jim Thomas and welcome to the Fitness Management Update. Our topic today is what is your value proposition in your gym? And here's one thing for absolute certain. Until you are clear of what your value proposition is, you're never going to make the money that you want. Okay. And whether you're a personal trainer, your membership sales, and, and for that matter, if you're a club owner, you know, until you're clear of what your value proposition is, you'll never make the money you want. And this is something you really need to get some thought to. You know, what is that unique selling position that you have? You know, I get a chance to do a lot of interviewing and I'll ask folks, I'll ask them that very question. What makes you different? Why should we hire you? We've talked to lots of people. Why you? And the answer I hear so often, well, I really like people. I really like fitness. I really like sales. And, you know, there's millions of people that can say that. OK, that's not hard to find. What we're looking for and what you want to be is that uh, that that unique person that brings true value to the business. Let me give you some examples of people that are really great at this. And they are people that are absolutely committed. And I'll give you an example. It's like when we talk about, you know, social media and digital media and everything that that entails. You know, the first thing that most people say is, well, wow, I don't have time for all that. Well, sure you do. The first thing you have to do is commit. You must be devoted to what you're doing. You must literally be obsessed with what you're trying to accomplish. You must be persistent you know, don't let, you know, roadblocks and don't let setbacks stop you. Don't let it detour you. You stay focused on what you need to get done. You need to be unreasonable in, in how you go about this. I mean, you are so convinced, so sold that this is the best thing in the world that you're going to continue to move forward. And one of the things that truly separates, I think, is, you know, when you start working from a position of this is your duty. This is your responsibility. This is your obligation. You know, I remember when I first became a manager of a health club, I think I was probably 21, you know, maybe 22. And I'd been in the business for about six months. And I'd been very good in membership sales, but I'd never managed. I'd never run a sales team, never been in charge of a club. It was a whole different thing for me. And there were some struggles at first. But one of the things that got me through that is I viewed that as it was my duty to do this because this owner had trusted me to run his business. He trusted me to make this thing work. He had confidence and faith in me, and therefore I approached it like it was my duty. So what is your value proposition? Give some thought to You must be clear on it. Committed, devoted, obsessed, persistent, unreasonable, and duty. My name is Jim Thomas, and this has been the Fitness Management Update.